was good everyone my name is drew and uh i'm back and uh art again yeah woo <laughs> uh but yeah i'm back onto youtube now and uh yeah i made some art progress and i realized that youtube is a garbage uh garbage website so no uh streaming service yeah that's the word i was looking for youtube is a garbage streaming surf a service i want to say surface service but uh yeah so i'm back on i'm back on here wow i, I suck at this i'm kind of rusty aren't i i usually just edit out everything but it's 11 o'clock at night and i'm tired so yeah let me put this phone down real quick and actually get serious now okay <laughs> all right so youtube is garbage i'm only on here to post once a week on every sunday so look out for those things i'm not going to get into the topic yet topic man i really suck at this topic yet i got a couple more things i want to say before i move on to the main topic the clickbait or whatever but uh yeah youtube sucks i'm only on here for once a week to do art progress art art job client stuff <laughs> yes yeah, so i'm only on here for once a week subscribe like and comment and uh let's get into why art is hard and why pursuing it is even harder yeah that's a good title i just made that one up on the spot <laughs> yeah uh art is hard because art takes time it, it sounds very dumb and very obvious because it is very dumb and very obvious it takes time there's shortcuts around it but at the end of the day the shortcuts are just shortcuts it's still going to take time and also don't take shortcuts until you're past the beginning stage you know because beginners shouldn't be taking shortcuts they should go every possible route that they can and trying to get a job in the art community is even harder there's a lot of competition i'm right now uh trying to get a, i'm trying to build a storyboard portfolio but until i make those storyboard portfolio i'm pretty much a character designer right now you're seeing the character design i was working on for a client ended up not being a client and the client never texted me back after i sent them the rough draft so yeah no money's for me hard it's a hard thing the the client commission joint work i mean they weren't paying me that much but you know it would have been a foot in the door but whatever so pretty much yeah i'm trying to work to become a storyboarder so i can make more money well actually i wouldn't be making that much money art isn't art well actually a lot of people do start off as a storyboard artist or a revisionist and then move their way up into visual design and even directing where you know that's where the money's at but you know i'm not doing it to move up and rank i'm doing it to start out yeah i need money so yeah it's a hard thing to do unless you have a top tier portfolio and study all these great amazing artists you're not going to be getting hired anytime soon like by the time you get your first client job it's probably going to be in your 20s let's be honest i i almost had two jobs but stuff didn't work out plans you know things like that but you know it, it's gonna take a long time you gotta build up a good following if you want to go freelance and if you're just going straight into the industry then you should go straight into the industry like build your portfolio and not like don't only draw you have to draw and study and pretty much what that means isn't you just go break down other artists work and stuff you break down their work and then you apply what you learned from that breakdown and then you go in 
after you're done with all your studies and applying what you learned, you go in and then make an art piece with everything that you just learned. And then you put that in your portfolio. And then that's how you keep on growing. Because when I was starting out, I only did studies. And I realized it's cool and all. It helps you grow. But now I don't have a portfolio. All I have is a whole bunch of arm anatomy. You know, you got to you got to incorporate it into your work and also you have to do it same time simultaneously that does mean both at no multi, how do i wait i'm confused simultaneously uh, i need a dictionary but you gotta do it at the same time that's the only way that you can grow and also you have to learn from your mistakes a lot of artists might say that but explaining it to you is it's always hard for some reason whenever you look up how to study artists or whatever i was looking it up a couple of weeks ago because i was trying to study these storyboards you won't see that till next week and also when i upload these videos it's going to be for the whole week you know all the stuff i did but yeah this was pretty much the only thing i did it snowed a lot but <clears throat> and i was stuck at my grandma's house so i wasn't home and i couldn't draw because I'm a digital artist and occasionally I do traditional, but I don't post traditional. I'm purely digital, you know, and I didn't have any electronics with me. So, yeah, uh, back to the topic. What was I talking about? Yikes. Uh, hmm. I was talking about, ah, boy, maybe I should edit. No, I'm not going to edit. Um, I really forgot. <laughs> Uh, topic, let me think, you know, I'm, I'm not editing any of this because the video is about 20 minutes long and I'm trying to talk for 20 minutes, but I cannot talk for 20 minutes. It's, it's just physically impossible for me. My voice is going to go out around 10, <laughs> so I'm going to try spreading this out as much as I can. Uh, I was talking about why is it so hard to get, oh yeah, study. I was, uh. I was looking up on YouTube how to study because I was trying to learn storyboarding and storyboarding There's nothing for you really to study except for shots in uh, the 180 rule Yeah, it, it's pretty much that much there, That's like the only stuff that's on YouTube Otherwise you have to pay like 300 and some dollars to get a class which is pretty decent But if you're a broke starving artist I, I'm just broke you know, you can't pay three hundred and twenty seven dollars just to learn how to study something which you can learn on your own for absolutely free, you know, but <clears throat> that's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know, <laughs> these artists have to make money somehow. And I guess the easiest way to make money if you if you if we're talking about money, <laughs> if we're talking about money is, you know, make art classes that's like the fastest and easiest way to make money everyone wants to learn how to do art and art is pretty easy if you put the effort in like you can learn anything in a month and then you can teach it in an hour like yeah it's that simple so make classes if you're real if you are like really freelance me personally i'm just doing the storyboard thing to get my foot in the door and it isn't even full storyboarding what i'm learning is storyboard animatic so it's like the stage between animation and just flat keyframes you know <clears throat> i'm learning that so i can pursue my true original goal which is what is my oh yeah um hold up wait i forgot it hold up i didn't forget it i'm just trying to space it out because 10 minutes is approaching uh let me think uh yeah <laughs> not nah, um i want to be a indie game developer now early on my channel you probably saw some of the games one I, I did a lot of art but i never went up and i think i only showed you one game i did and, and that was i was just me trying to come back into the game dev industry thing you know I forgot how to do everything. I forgot programming. I forgot all of it. So I went on to Construct 2 and I made a quick volleyball game, which didn't turn out that well, but I published it anyway. It's out there, not on Steam, but because, you know, I'm broke, but it's on itch.io where all the good 
weird, fun, entertaining devlog game things are there. Even comics and graphic novels, which is the same as comics, but a little bit different, you know? But back to the main topic of goals. Nah, that wasn't the main topic. Subtopic. Yeah, that's that's better. What does that mean? I, I should probably stop getting distracted. I'm going to forget what I was talking about again. Goals. Yeah, my goal is to become an indie game developer. And I realize I hate pixel art. Never going to do that again. So, the only other thing I could do was learn 2D animation. And that's what I'm doing now. And 2D animation is very profitable. A lot of people don't know this but it's profitable it just takes a long time so you know if you're a freelance artist and you're doing animation you're gonna get paid about a hundred an hour but the problem is it's gonna take you about a month <laughs> to finish that project so yeah that's like the one downside unless you're doing just strictly character animation in which you're probably going to get paid about 30 an hour for a beginner, you know. But after time, that price goes up higher and higher. Take Anthony Jones for instance. I think he's charging about a thousand per commission. That is crazy. But he is a concept artist and he does have crazy artwork. And he is well known, you know. So it's just going to take you time to build up that but back to the subtopic of goals you should always make goals at first my goals were not that simple but they were goals nonetheless my first goal when i went into drawing was just to learn one thing and that was how to draw heads and i drew heads but only from one angle and then i got comfortable doing that and then that's when i realized i needed to draw heads in different angles then i started drawing heads well, I didn't start. I learned to draw heads from the side view, three thirds, three quarter view, and the front view again. Because drawing heads is extremely hard. A lot of people don't know this, but it's like one of the hardest things. Drawing a body, simple, simple as pie. But drawing a head, for some reason, is super complicated and hard. There's no shortcuts. I even tried developing a couple of techniques. If you go back through my old videos, you'll see some of the techniques I used to avoid using the circle, line, chin technique. I think it's called the Linus technique. Yeah, that technique is great for beginners, but then you realize how much time it takes and how perfect you have to get your circles and stuff to be for it to work out well. It's just annoying. I and mean, unless you have that line of stabilization which most artists do not i most definitely do not i try learning it but i don't have patience i i can if i can learn anything in a month right why would i draw lines every single day as straight as i can for a month when i could be learning how to draw bodies doing dynamic stuff you know or animation it's just not for me so i skipped over that but yeah set your goals simple as simple as they can be as simple as learning one thing you know right last month right uh yeah last year last month december right uh i set my goal to learning what did i try learning i tried learning sci-fi wrinkles no last month not a way yeah, sci-fi. I tried learning sci-fi, which you see here is a little bit of sci-fi. I studied uh, Mega Man, a lot of good sci-fi stuff. <clears throat> and then I also tried studying proportions, folds. You don't see the folds in this one because it was pretty skin tight, you know. But I studied it and uh, proportions. I studied that too because for some reason I suck at drawing people in random proportions. You know, I want to do cartoony or drawings and anime year so I can do these weird action scenes in my storyboards. So I, I got the proportion stuff down when I came back to drawing uh, this week. You know, it took me a whole, no, I'm not going to say that lame joke, <laughs> but you know, it took me a while. I got it down. 
mostly because I watched a YouTuber. If I remembered his name, I would say it right here or even edit it, but it's 11 o'clock at night and I have to talk for 20 minutes. I'm not editing a single thing. Oh, we're at 15. We're almost there. <laughs> nah, but for real, uh, make your goals simple. Uh, also, I should move on to our next topic, following, build a following as soon as possible. You might think, well, I just want to go into the industry. You're going to need that following no matter what. One is going to get you jobs and clout is a powerful thing, you know, clout, clout. Yeah, uh, build up your following. You're going to need it. And even if you don't need it right now, you're going to want it down the line. Not for the praise, just for the clients that it might bring you. And also, if you get popular enough, you can make a Patreon. And that's just passive money at the end of the day. You know, you always want that. Uh, let me think. Let's move on to the next one. We're approaching 20 pretty fast here. So we're going to keep on moving. Uh, let's see. What's the next one? Really? It's not that much. If you want to do something, you should just pursue it as soon as possible, as early as possible, and take zero shortcuts until you get to a good point where you feel like you can and create shortcuts for yourself. Um, watch YouTubers, but not YouTuber YouTubers, you know. Art YouTubers that only do speed things. Those type of YouTubers, best to learn from. Uh, study from whatever you want to go whatever field you want to go in if you want to study if you want to go into animation you have to study those animation frames the storyboards and then study the final product of it you know and then produce one make a make whatever you know make it short make it good yeah uh you know, do that, for example, I would say for example, but we're running out of time, and I'm still trying to think at the same time of next topics, next topic, dang, I don't think I have another one, <laughs> uh, I've been talking for 17, the jaw kind of hurts, knock on cap, uh, last time I talked for longer than 20 minutes was two years ago, huh, you should go you should go subscribe to me if you found that little uh not tibet tibet no 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 uh fun fact interesting <laughs> took me a while to think of that word my brain hurts half of the time but yeah follow i mean subscribe uh if you want to follow follow my instagram i will say link in the description but I don't know if I'm not going to be lazy enough. Not going to be lazy. Hold up, that's a weird sentence. Not going to be lazy enough to do something. Wouldn't that be kind of... Hold up. Wouldn't that mean I would be lazy? <sighs> because it's double negative. Hold up. I don't know if future me is going to be lazy and not put the, the, my Instagram link in the description. Uh have a new instagram and uh my banner sucks I, I have to do something about that but not this month you know i'm tired not today not tomorrow so i have to make a thumbnail oh is that a star oh uh, no it's a plane is that a star i don't know it's moving towards me you know it'd be crazy if my house just blew up right now while i'm talking <laughs> yeah that's a plane all right I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, share with your friends. Uh, tell me why art is hard in the comics. You know, the comics. <laughs> Comments. Man, I'm tired. Uh, tell me why art is hard to you. For you personally in the comments. If you want. You don't have to. Even dislike the video. I can't even see how many. Actually, you can't even see how many dislikes I get. I can, and it hurts my feel. No, I'm joking. Yeah, but follow. I mean, subscribe. Follow Instagram, Twitter. I post there, but I don't post there. Bye. Oh, wrong button.